So I left out one really fun, pretty easy thing to do, which is keying, you know, green screen or blue screen chroma keying, where you take one piece of video, stick it in front of another one, and you carve the color out behind the subject. You can do this, by the way, in different ways. You don't need a green screen necessarily. I'll talk about that in a sec, but I have a green screen. So let me go ahead and show you this. We actually have one at Texas State. We set up this shot. I'll show you. Here's our, our portable green screen that we set up in the Media Innovation Lab in Old Main, actually. Uh, we lit it, but look, it's not very evenly lit. It's got a lot of wrinkles in it. It's light in some areas, dark in some areas, but we can still make this work and watch. I do a silly thing here, I actually row through this scene on an office chair. So this is our key and I've got some background video from one of your classmates that I grabbed. He used this in a couple of transitions. So what I'm gonna do is use a tool that's built into Premiere. Let me go ahead and queue it up over my key video. And then I'm gonna go up here to the top and look for effects. And we've used effects a couple of times for transitions like dissolves and stuff. And if I'm in effects, I'll select video effects and then keying. And if you open keying, one of the options is ultra key. I'm gonna grab ultra key and I'm gonna drag it down here onto my green screen clip. So you see video one is the background video. Video two is the green screen or key video. I drag the ultra key onto there and over here in effect controls, it opens up some choices. So I love this. I could go in here and select uh, the color block and, and select a color and put it in, or I can use this dropper. So I'm gonna use the dropper and I'm gonna go select an area on here. Just for illustration, I'm gonna select a dark area of the screen. Normally I don't do this and I'll show you why in a sec. I'm gonna select a dark area and then I'll just scroll through here and look and you see me rowing through this scene. Now there's some noise. If you look at the beginning, I'm still picking up a lot of that green screen noise there. So one of the reasons I, I run into that is if you select a lighter area, you tend to get a better key. And so there are lighter areas there and here. I see them bleeding through the key. Easy fix. I'm gonna go back over here to the dropper and click the dropper and it will default right back to my screen. So now I wanna select a really light area, the lightest possible green. Let's see if that's any better. So that's already better. There's noise, but it's not as bad. The key is pretty slick around me. Now let's go where this noisy area is and see if we can fix that. There's a built-in tool. If you look at setting over here, it's default. If I change default to aggressive, okay, already it's a little bit better. It gets rid of some of that noise. Uh, so it's already getting cleaner. And then there's one other setting you can use, especially if you use a really light shade like I did of green. I'm gonna go down here to spill suppression, open that and look for Luma, Luna, uh, Luma. So luminance, if I change this, this is 50. I'm just gonna grab here and push it up. Sometimes when I make this higher, it really clips it nicely. If you notice, my noise went away as I changed Luma. So I'll change it back to 50 and you'll see some noise there. But if I click and drag this up, you'll see it cancel out the noise and I get a really nice clip. So I'll use the dropper to pick a color. Lightest possible color is usually best. Change, uh, change this from, uh, I put it on custom. I'm gonna leave it on custom because it's working. I usually change this from default to aggressive. Uh, I put it on the wrong one, but it still worked. And then Luma helps if aggressive isn't a good enough key, but there's a nice key that we built just like that using the ultra key tool built in to, uh, to Premiere. And the last thing I'll tell you is it's a lot of fun. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have a green screen. If you have a wall that's painted a certain color in your house, can be any color, it could be red, brown, as long as it's different enough from your clothes, your hair, your skin tone, you'll be able to key out. I've done it, it's rough, but I've done it using a brick wall, asphalt, even grass in a, a nice green grass in a yard you can make that the background and use that tool to get a rough key and key out. So play with that.